I'm Ashley, and I usually travel with my husband, Christian. But every year, my dad and I take a trip together. We decided to head to Switzerland and Italy this time, places we've been before but keep coming back to. I am so excited to share some new-to-us spots as well as some old favorites. Good morning from Lake Como, which is one of the most beautiful places ever. We are renting a boat today for about three hours to go out on the lake by ourselves. We don't need a boat license. It's just a 40 horsepower boat, but this is a great way to see the lake on your own schedule. We are in Bellagio, which is one of the little communes of Lake Como. We took a car ferry to get over here. It was 19 euro, very, very easy. You just get in line, go buy a ticket to get onto the ferry, roll on. You have about five, 10 minute ferry over from the Menaggio area, which is across the lake. So there's multiple car ferries all around Como. And if you're driving, that's really gonna be a good option. picked up our boat we have it for three hours and it was 180 euro which includes fuel and like third-party insurance she gave us this map and then circled the best places to go for three hours so we're gonna start out by going down to Nesso Crazy wind here right now. We are right in front of the bridge here. This is the Nesso Bridge that's near the town of Nesso or the commune of Nesso. There's a beautiful waterfall behind the bridge, like kind of inside of the gorge there. Right here is Isla Comachina, which is the only island on Lake Como. We can cruise around it. If you take a boat, you have to be very, very slow. It's like less than one RPM. Behind us is the Villa Balbianello. There were a few famous movies filmed here. There was Casino Royale and Star Wars. It's a museum now. Down the lake farther, George Clooney's house. So there's a lot of very cool little sites here that you can stop and see. which is another really pretty town on Como. This is so colorful. Our last stop on the boat is Piscalo Bay, which has really calm waters. This is a perfect place to go swimming or to have a picnic lunch, which is what we're doing. This is right on the other side of Bellagio. So after we're done eating here, we are gonna make our way back around and drop the boat off. Piscalo Bay is a great place to go. <laughs> up a little bit higher in Bellagio. We walked up a staircase and we we're kind of walking through the town. This place is really good. We had to stop and get our first Italian gelato.
We are back on the car ferry to go back towards the side that the Menagio is on, and that's where we're staying. But I just love these little car ferries. Like, this is so easy to get around Como. Instead of having to drive the entirety of the lake because it's so far around, you can just, there's like three or four that you can take to get across the lake. So keep that in mind. We are back at our Airbnb and I just wanted to show you where we're staying. So we're pretty far up like a mountain surrounding Lake Como. So this is our view back here. Just absolutely beautiful. And we have multiple decks. We have this deck down here. This is like the main deck. And then we have two up here. There's two bedrooms in this. So there's one right here and one right here. Coming inside from the deck, you step directly into the kitchen. Nothing super special here but you walk through the kitchen and you have your own little wine cellar and right here is the living room space it has a really cool stone walls you can see out on the balcony the deck from here This is the entrance to the house. So you can see from the top of the staircase, you have a really beautiful view outside. It's floor to ceiling windows right here with some very fun light bulb like light fixtures. Good morning from Menagio. This is a village that was about 50 minute drive from where we're staying. It's really pretty. A lot of the buildings are colorful. So we're just kind of walking along the lake for a bit before heading on to Verena. They've built this beautiful promenade on the edge of the water here, so you're able to walk along the lake and enjoy some flowers and beautiful views of the lakes and mountains. Pretty sure most of the bigger towns have this, but this one is a lot longer, honestly less crowded than Bellagio, so I think Menagio is also very well worth your time to come over here. There he goes, on a dad mission. But look how this tree grew around the like the metal pole here. It's so intricately wound around it. That is so cool. are getting on a ferry to go across the lake to Verena, which is the third town that we'll be visiting on Lake Como. It looks really colorful from the water, so I'm excited to go over there and walk through the streets. Menagio is definitely the smaller one. There wasn't, there's not a lot to do besides just walk around, walk along the promenade and enjoy the water, but I think there's a few more streets and like a cathedral in Verena that we can go check out. On the ferry, we're not 
taking the car this time. So it was only four euro 60 cents per person to go across to Verena. And then on the way back, we go Verena, Bellagio, Menaggio to get back over here. And we're sharing the boat with a giant tour bus. Like look, they can fit this big old charter bus on, which is just insane. We're just wandering the streets of Verena. It's just like Bellagio with the narrow cobblestone alleyways and just walkways leading basically straight up. But we are in search of some food right now. Some good Italian pasta or pizza. Sounds perfect. just ate lunch at this restaurant that overlooked the lake. It's really beautiful. We had some like Aperol spritz, carbonara, and then the best tomatoes I've ever had on a bruschetta in my life. So we're just walking around in Verena now and gonna find some gelato and then head back to Menaggio. We are back in Menaggio. We took the ferry back over from Verena. I think that if you just have a couple days on like Como, try and run a boat if you can. But if you don't have time to do all of them, definitely make sure you see Bellagio, Menaggio, and Verena because they were all incredibly beautiful in their own way.